Hi, I'm Alan Arkish, and this is Trailers from Hell. Preston Sturges. I love Preston Sturges. The Lady Eve is one of my top 10 all-time favorite movies. Now, Preston Sturges' life kind of reads like he's a character in his own pictures. As a young boy, he and his free-spirited mother used to celebrate this springtime rite of Bacchus, the god of wine. In fact, the young Preston had to be taken to the hospital once with champagne poisoning. As he, as he grew older, he became interested in science and inventing. He created kiss-proof lipstick. You can't make this stuff up. He made a small fortune, moved to New York City, where he was involved in a terrible car accident. He was in a cab, and he was laid out flat, and he was on his back for four or five months. And that's when he started to write. And being the kind of person that he was, he wrote a Broadway play that became a hit which is how he got out to Hollywood and on the Paramount lot, where he became one of the top writers. But he never liked what the other directors, what the directors were doing with his material. So, the great McGinty. And he became the first writer-director of the sound era. As an auteur, his, uh, his reputation has continued to grow. His originality, his wit, his fast-paced style, are really highly thought of today. You can walk into any writer's room in TV today, mention the name Preston Sturges, and everyone uses him as a reference point. They all know who he is. From 1940 to 1944, get this, he wrote and directed eight movies, two of which are masterpieces, Sullivan's Travels and our trailer from hell, The Lady Eve. Who is The Lady Eve? Sturgis wrote the part for Barbara Stanwyck. In the script, she has two distinct personalities, the sharp, fast-talking grifter Jean and the royal Lady Eve. Stanwyck plays both with equal aplomb. I agree with most film historians who feel that she is based on Sturgis' bohemian mother, Mary Desty. She was the fashion designer and the traveling companion of the legendary dancer Isadora Duncan. With the young Preston in tow, they toured Europe in a grand style by living off the kindness of wealthy men. Two quotes from the movie describe his mother well. A beautiful woman can get anything she wants, and as Eve so profoundly puts it, the good girls aren't half as good as you think, and the bad girls aren't nearly half so bad. Now meet Barbara Stanwyck, his very, very vexy Lady Eve, bewitching, bewildering, and very bothering to Henry Fonda, a modern Adam. He cast Henry Fonda for the part of Charles Pike, the owner of Pike's Pale, the ale that won for Yale, rah, rah, rah. He was the perfect foil. In his desire to merge literate dialogue and slapstick, he made Fonda take about a dozen Pratt balls. No doubles allowed. Sturges wrote his scripts by dictating the dialogue to his secretary as he acted out all the parts in the voices of each character. Of course, he surrounded his stars with his usual stock company. William Demarest, Eugene Paulette, and Charles Coburn give definitive performances. From all reports, it was a very happy set. Stanwyck said that if Capra's set was hushed like a cathedral, Sturges was like a carnival. Peter Bogdanovich thinks that The Lady Eve is a definitive romantic screwball comedy. I agree. There may be a few comedies as good, but none are better. Now they actually trained a snake and Edith Head made a hat and a coat, but the snake wouldn't wear it. <laughs> it was actually it was in a scene or something.